Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to another episode of AGR Tech 1 and in this video we're going to be learning how to route the Samsung Galaxy S3 GTI 9300T which is the Australian variant of the International Edition. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you want to verify is that you have the same model number as me. So what you need to do is hit the menu key, go to settings and then go to more at the top scroll down and go to about device now in here you should see the model number and it should read like so it should say GTI 9300T and the Android version should be Android 4.3 and we can verify that by tap tapping on it and you guys can see it is Android 4.3 Jelly Bean alright let's go ahead and get into the process so uh, as a prerequisite for this you're going to need to have a Windows PC and the Samsung USB drivers. Now you can get the drivers from my site by clicking the link in the description. It's a simple Windows installation package. You simply have to download it, run the installer and you'll be good to go. So once you've gone ahead and installed the driver, you're also going to need to have a USB cable which comes supplied with your Galaxy S3 in the box. Alright, and uh, just before we begin, I'm going to open up the Root Checker application, which you can download from the Play Store. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, it's an optional piece of software, um, but if you do want to keep track uh, and verify if the device is rooted, you can do that. So I'm going to launch up the app and hit Verify Root, and as you guys can see, it says, Sorry, this device does not have proper root access. So once we finish this process, I'm going to open it up again, and you will see that it is indeed rooted. Alright, and the next thing you're going to need to do is download Odin, which is a closed source uh, program from Samsung, which allows us to flash uh, firmware and other packages to Samsung-based devices. Uh, so you're going to need to download that, as well as the CF root file. I'll have both of these on my site in the description down below, so just go to my website, hit download, scroll down until you see Galaxy S3, and then download all those files to your computer. Alright guys, so once you've done that, what you're going to need to do is power off your device, of course once you've got your drivers installed on your system, so you want to hold the power key, select power off, and hit OK, and wait for the phone to power down. And once the phone powers down, we need to hold the volume down, the center key, as well as the power button all at once. Alright, and once it comes up, you should see warning. A custom OS can cause critical problems, and uh, we, since we want to modify, we want to hit volume up. And you guys can see download mode. Now, right up here, make sure your phone is fully charged before attempting to do this, because failure to complete this will result in a brick device. Alright, once it says downloading, what you want to do is connect your uh, phone to your PC. Alright, so once you hear your computer, you can put your phone aside, leaving it in download mode. So I will now pause this part of the video and come back once I'm on the computer. Okay, so once we've switched over to our PC, we need to, uh, of course, download the files from my site and uh, go ahead and extract them into a place uh, where it is convenient. So here I have my phones folder in my Galaxy S3 folder and inside there I'll have all the files so uh, once you extract it uh, you'll have this file here you just want to right click on it and go to extract to and this is assuming that you have WinRAR installed I'll have a link for that in the description just in case you don't and unzip it and you'll have inside a folder named CF Auto root uh, blah 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 dot zip so once you have a folder go ahead and open it up and inside you should have all these files. You should have the Odin executable as well as the appropriate DLLs needed to run it. And then here's the main file of interest. CF Auto Root M0 M0DU GTI 9300.tar.md5. So you can uh, now verify that you have all these files in your folder. And what we want to do now is right click on the Odin free executable. Alright, and select Run as Administrator. Hit Yes, and wait for Odin to load. Once it loads, we should have a screen just like this, and at this point, you should see a COM port appear. Now, it doesn't matter what number it is, just as long as it says COM, it means that your phone is detected. So now what you want to do is click the PDA option. Alright, once you've selected that, navigate to the folder 
and you should uh, see the CFU auto root uh, .tar.md file. Hit open. Okay, so give it some time. It's checking uh, the MD5 signatures, and it should say MD5 uh, finished successfully. And be sure that these files have not been renamed or are corrupted, uh, as that will cause uh, problems with the device. Now, uh, what you want to do at this point is click start. And you should see it flash on your phone. Uh, you should see a loading bar across the screen. Uh, don't worry if your phone uh, looks a bit funny and uh, you'll say reset and that will now initiate a reboot. So the phone will now reboot and you should see a uh, red Android. Uh, so just give that some time. Uh, don't worry about it. It may look a bit dodgy, um, but it means that your phone is being rooted and everything is good. So once your phone reboots successfully, I will now switch over and uh, once it says reset in this box over here, we can go ahead and close out of Odin. Uh, as far as uh, the phone is concerned, uh, we can finish with Odin. So we want to close our um, close Odin, and you can unplug your device at this point. And on your uh, device screen, it should say Android is upgrading. So I'll now switch over and show you guys that this indeed has root access. Okay, so our device is back up, and what you want to do is go to your app drawer. And you should see an application called Super SU. So you want to launch that up. Alright, so just hit no thanks. And there you go. Uh, we have Super SU. And uh, at this time, I do not have any uh, apps at, at the moment. But basically, uh, you can install Titanium Backup, any sort of apps that you like. And when you open them, it should say uh, Super SU permission and just hit grant. And now to check if the device is rooted. So we uh, ran a test before and it said it was not rooted. So we're going to go ahead and launch it up. Alright, so we're launching up Root Checker. And I'm going to hit Verify Root. And as you guys can see, if you get Super User Request, just hit Grant. And there you go. Congratulations, this device has root access. So this has been a tutorial on how to root the Galaxy S3 uh, GTI 9300T um, International Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more great tech videos like this. And also share the URL up above with your friends if this helped you out. And also like it uh, and comment in the section uh, down below. Thanks for watching and ultimately have a nice day.